Uh, in fact, it very nearly caused a, a divorce because I just finished a long filming um, period of an, on a series called The Good Guys with Keith Barron that I also produced with my uh, agent and sort of best friend, Michael Whitehall. And we, I booked a holiday to, to start directly after filming because I've you know, been filming for six months. I think. And my wife said, actually, I don't want to go now. So I was furious with her. I said, what do you mean you don't want to go? I booked and paid for it. Well, I don't want to go. So I thought, this woman's insane. Um, and I was sort of, I was quite bad-tempered about the whole thing because I'd been so looking forward to the holiday. Anyway, I had to go, I had to go and do some um, post-syncing. That was the, to redub my voice in the studio. So I thought, I'm, 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 I've got weeks to do that. Why am I being stopped going on a holiday? So that was all the, that was, I was really cross and I arrived at the studios in a very bad mood to be great, greeted by the Red Book. So I, I won't forget it for that very reason. Well, my reaction, I think, was, was fine once I knew what it was about. I was fine. And, and uh, it, it was a great honour to be asked to be in um, This Is Your Life, in a way. Um, even though it's a sort of car crash of a, an evening. And I'm not sure if I'd ever recommend it because, you know, you really don't know that it's going to happen to you. So it's a, it's a terrifying moment. In the gap that you have when, they, when you're caught and, the, and being driven to the studios and, and they lock you away, obviously... Um, I was fine about that. I, 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 I was fine. I had a large vodka and tonic and read the Telegraph or the Times. I remember that. Felt fine. Well, it was lovely to see a lot of people all together, all my mates there together, and that was very enjoyable. I was, I mean, I could feel, I feel that some of them are very nervous because they, because I've been, I, I've been a guest on This Is Your Life a few times, and it's quite nerve-wracking waiting to go on. So I was aware that they were quite nervous, especially people who are not in my business, you know. Um, but they all did really well. People like Noel O'Neill, who's a hotel manager and a great friend of my parents, who became a great friend of mine. I, I mean, it was fantastic to see him. Jenny Seagrave brought her dog with her, obviously, because they were inseparable. James Fox, I remember, came. Yes, Dana Show and, and, and uh, Tony Britton were there because of Don't Wait Up, and I'd done many, many years of that show, so that was very good that they were there. See, I was in a band, and so my brother and Julian Miller and Rick Marsh, we were all in a sort of band together years before, so they, they all arrived. That was great. Yeah, it was, a, it was a knockout night, really, now I think about it. And then there's a big party afterwards. Well, I think I got a bit smashed, really, to be honest. Um, but I had fun. I mean, I, I just saw lots of, lots of friends that I've not seen for a long time, which was great. As I said, it is a slight sort of car crash thing because it's such a shock that um, that one memory is a bit hazy because it's all it's all like so much happening so fast and it's you know apart from the initial um, horror story, it was it was fantastic.